Cameron Sam, I remember we exchanged we exchanged DMs uh, after the fight, during the fight yesterday, right? We were talking about uh, Simon when he lost his fight. I thought I, Simon being I thought he was robbed. <laughs> well, I, I, I I I thought he lost by he lost the second and third round. I think he took the first uh, round. I don't know, man. You know, you know when I posted that thing and said he was robbed, a lot of people started attacking me in my DMs after mm. that post and you know maybe i thought hey, here we go again Timber. you are being too emotional because honestly like mm. for me personally this is just my personality when i watch a guy that i kind of know from or know about or know mm. i always support the guy you know i'm not like other guys that feel some type of way about other guys when they are trying to be something you know because i don't feel like mm. you know i just felt i was watching with an eye of Cameron is winning. Cameron is winning. You know, even my daughter, when we were watching the thing, when she saw him coming out, she was like, oh, South Africa. You know, like, it was so nice to watch. And, you know, I really, really, really thought he won. Personally, I would even say, in my opinion, <laughs> in my opinion, maybe I should now start learning how this MMA judging. And I must, I, I, don't, I don't intend on going to the judges ever again. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. unless it's the dominant win like the last one but like um yeah i mean i i i should maybe learn how the judging and the scoring is done without being biased because i only how, how, did, you how did you score how did you score the fight in my opinion. oh wow <laughs> in my opinion i thought cameron won all the rounds i don't know i don't know maybe the third round was the one that i would think there, there's a one that there were too many grappling exchanges uh, but honestly like he was the i think i don't know which one was it but there was no i think the, the first everyone. the first round the first round he was the guy initi initiating the grappling he was he was having more success in the striking department as well in the first round i think one judge gave him that first round in 29 20, 29 28 and then the other three judges gave all three rounds to christopher rodriguez ola you saw that fight didn't you or were yeah. you watching or were you watching those clowns on YouTube? No, 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 no. I, I stick to real fighting, man. I stick to that. I, 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 I prefer I prefer watching the real fights. But so yeah, what do you think, watch. Ola? So uh -huh. again. What do you think? Um I I also thought that uh I thought Cameron won the first round and the third round. I thought C Rod won the second round. There was a lot of grap like you said, grappling exchanges in the second round, a lot of reversals. So it's kind mm -hmm. of hard to because both of them were also almost going for the same moves, and um, yeah, that's one thing. That's one thing. Sorry to cut you there. That's one thing I I didn't get that it was almost like Cameron was mirroring the other guy. The other guy yeah. does a spinning back fist. He does a spinning back fist. It became also almost like predictable. Like hey, who's got bigger balls? I'll show you my my balls. I did see. I did see something that Cameron liked doing. He was doing like a spinning fist and then following it up with a spinning kick. He yes. did that like three times. That yes. combination is probably something that he does in training. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, oh, def definitely. His style is very good. I just feel like mm -hmm. um, yesterday he was fighting a little bit rushed. But that's, how, that's his style of fighting. Oh, but yeah. He was also fighting, you know. I went back and looked at his uh, pre-fight pre -fight interviews. Um uh, it was more based on bonus, on the bonus, on the bonus. Um, mm. I, I think I also made the same mistake. I'm not just trying to make this, but uh, I can talk about this in my own experience. I've also made this same mistake in my first fight where I came in there thinking about the bonus, not thinking about the win. And um, it's a big mistake sometimes with experience that we think more about the bonus yeah. because you know well, we want we want the bonus because if you leave yeah it yeah as if fifty k yeah yeah as as a fighter if you are if you are rushing and trying to get that finish that means that you are not setting up strikes you are not fainting you are not looking looking for openings you are just going heads on so. There is no reads, and that gives the opponent a chance to also like if that opponent is. But is, there's no is, way uh, he would won that fight. To be honest. how how I I honestly think I honestly think that Simon won the first round and he lost the second and the third. Who was initiating That's... the strikes? Who was initiating the strikes? Cyril was countering all the time. Yep, yeah, but but Cyril was landing because you did you did you see the face of. 
Cameron Simon. Uh, uh, and like in the second round, wait, Toby, sorry. In the second round, during those exchanges, those grappling exchanges, Sirod spent more time in the dominant positions, right? Uh, uh, because when the switches yeah, happen, that's the part, yes. I don't. Because in if the switches happen, immediately, imme- and 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 if you watch, if you can remember, maybe because of the weight cut or maybe because he missed weight, but Rodriguez looked like is the stronger person in the grappling exchanges. He looked like because some sometimes he just he just holds Simon and then trip him to the ground. It wasn't like a like single leg or double leg takedown. It was like more of like pushing you to the ground by force. <laughs> but, yeah, it was a but, bully, oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but but Ola, 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 what did you think? You've not finished making your point. Yeah, I mean, when when you have a four pound, five pound advantage, you, you know, it's easier for you to to do those sort of sort of trips and and and, and take downs like that. I, I, and I get it. Mm. But for me, like I said, I think Cameron won the first round and the third round. I think the second round was a little bit a little bit more stickier to judge, and probably would have given that to to Ciro. I, I, I thought Cameron won the fight. Um, it, it was unfortunate for him the way the way it's panned out, um, and who, who knows where it goes from here? Uh, like you said, uh, Temba's right in terms of you know maybe he went into the fight a, a little bit bonus driven because I did speak to him um, before before he went into the before you know he, he went for the fight and he he, he mentioned he was going to try and get Ciro out out of there within the first two rounds and hopes that you know they they stand and bang. To get a good chance of of getting the bonus um so you know he did have that at the back of his mind uh, going into the fight but you know like you you know like you fighters always say uh, you don't lose you learn and uh, hopefully there's some valuable lessons to be to be taken away from this fight in terms of how how he approaches the next fight and go for the win and then whatever comes after the win speaking of the bonuses comes after that mm, but, speaking about know, going to the next fight toby has been an audience since eh Toby, I beg, what do you think is going to be next for Cameron Simon? How do we get him back on track, eh? Ah, how do you get him back on track? Oh, I think that, first of all, let me just say, I, I don't know which fight you guys are watching because I legit feel like Simon lost all three rounds. Um, all three? Yes, all three? he was initiating a lot of things. <laughs> yes. That's just how I feel. I feel like fights that are super close like that, they usually score it based on damage, right? And oh boy, Toby was about to break the internet, and his connection just got broken. So <laughs> what I don't gonna know. Take him, I don't know. I don't know. Look, once again, I also had to delete my 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 post because I, you know, put out there and supported them. People were attacking me left, right, and center. Say, hey. That was a clear anonymous decision. Um, they say, hey man, you need to learn MMA. Me. So I thought, mm, let me do this. <laughs> no, honestly, I had to delete it. I had to delete the post. Even I had to delete. I had even messaged Cameron Simon and say, hey bro, heads up, you were robbed. And I even deleted the message to him because I thought mm, maybe you know these people are right and I'm wrong. And um, mm. yeah, man, like for me. Like someone even posted, I think uh, Drigas posted something like that on his uh, on his story, and I even agreed with him and said yes. And then I went on and deleted the message because I thought mm, people are saying to me otherwise, then it might look like I'm being stupid. So let me not f- make a fool out of myself. So I don't know. I watch too many fights with people that I know with emotions, and I'm not yeah. I'm not calculative on what's happening. Every time someone that I know throws a punch, I'm thinking you are winning. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it I'm is. It and, is uh, fair. I, it is I, I, fair. I'll, I'll watch. I'll watch the fight again because I feel like there's so much to learn. Just you know, for me as well from uh, watching him fighting, being based in South mm-hmm. Africa, and you know, like many people, like for me, I learn from everybody. Ever since I came to America, now I've learned one thing. I'm a student of this fighting game, and the best thing mm-hmm. that happened is when you are here, you can watch all these fights, ev- uh, uh, live events live it's not like waking up at 2 a.m what i do when i'm here i watch the whole ufc car from start to finish no fight missed because i want to learn from every single fight and um i want to go and rewatch that fight just to watch from yeah maybe maybe watch the fight again without commentary yeah that's what i want to do like i want to watch the yeah. fight again without commentary and i just want to watch yeah. to learn as well you know mm-hmm. um 
and I, 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 you can always learn. Like one thing you can learn from that fight for me from get go yesterday is the confidence that Cameron w- walks in with. You know, like you know, oh, yes, he, he has a, he has good confidence, and I, I hope he keeps that confidence going forward. Um, yeah, man, uh, the confidence is is a great attribute to have, especially when you are fighting at this level. Because here it's not just skill; it's the will as well and the mindset that you have. And for a kid like that, that is twenty two years old, like I, I have always said high things about this kid, and I said even you will remember. I said to you, yeah, he's gonna yeah, be legendary, he will be like a champion. Dustin Poirier and them. I think because he's only twenty two, but however, he has to oh. make a comeback from this. You know, mm-hmm. uh, because this is the first time the kid. It's not how hard you fall; is how uh, is how you get back up on your yes, feet. Yes, yes. Because you know, when yeah. you're undefeated as a fighter. That's I see. That's, that's one thing. Also, I want to say, you know, a lot of these undefeated fighters. I also have been there where I was undefeated. A uh, lot of like I've seen it also. Let's say with um, perfect reference, like uh, Nicholas Wende. I've seen it with a lot of, and uh, like re- most recently, a lot of when you. When did that? Uh, he was the guy that lost in. He, the guy that lost in Brave, right? Yeah, yeah. When yeah, the Zimbabwean boy. Yeah. And you, when a guy start posting and being obsessed about being undefeated, then I start to worry. When a guy start talking about the record more than winning the fight, I start to worry because I've been there too, where the record mattered more than winning the fight, staying clean. Mattered more than winning the fight, and I went into a fight and I lost.